I love the freedom that skiing gives me. Millie Knight has been skiing since the age of six with her mother as her guide. It was really good fun and, and a great opportunity to ski with my mum as an intro into the sports. That's when she started losing the majority of the sight in both eyes from an infection. The 23-year-old is a three-time Paralympic medalist and a two-time world champion, skiing in all five alpine disciplines from slalom to downhill. Now she's competing in the 2022 Beijing Paralympics. To be in my third Paralympic Games is is pretty amazing. Um, I'm I'm very lucky to have had the experiences of two prior games uh, that I hope. I'll be able to take the experiences and, uh, and knowledge into Beijing. Millie doesn't ski alone. Brett has been her guide for the past six years. It's a very unique relationship. I'd say we were probably best friends now. And the way that, that we get on is pretty amazing, considering that, you know, he spent six years putting up with me, which I think he, he deserves a medal in his own right just for that. I'm one sense down. Being visually impaired means that actually one of my other senses, like my hearing, has been heightened. So I can pick up a lot of information from the snow and from the sound of Brett's skis. I've obviously got the Bluetooth headsets and our helmets, um, so a microphone and an earpiece. So that's that's where I'll be listening to Brett, but also he wears a, a luminous orange jacket uh, and skis in front of me. So um, I'll be trying to follow that as much as possible too. You know, whether it's bumpy, whether it's icy, soft, all sorts of things like that, um, that he doesn't need to communicate to me, which is pretty helpful when you're traveling at speeds of up to 120 kilometers an hour. There's not a lot of time to communicate things like that. And then I will also communicate back to him saying whether I can still see him, whether I can't, whether our distance is too great or too small. Like many others, COVID has made her trainings even more challenging. During the first lockdown, it affected us quite a lot. There was a, a long period of time where we were off snow and actually the time at home actually enabled me to work very, very heavily on my fitness and my strength. And 2021 was a tough year for both. Millie had her fourth concussion and her guide Brett was recovering from a knee injury. It was really difficult, heartbreaking, <laughs> um, and uh, very, very mentally challenging as well. It's something that took a, a lot out of me and took a lot to push through as well. Millie says dealing with fear is one of the biggest tests in her skiing career. Doubt came in, fear was there. I genuinely believe that I wasn't good enough anymore and uh, that I shouldn't be competing at the level that I'm competing at. So my lack of confidence in my ability and myself, combined with being scared and, and having the fear of hitting my head and getting concussion again, are the most challenging things that I have had to deal with. So I have to, I'm constantly having to work on my confidence, on kind of building up that resilience to it. I love the, uh, the freedom that skiing gives me, the ability to go at the speeds that I want to go at, at pla to places that I want to go to. It's just me and Brett and we can go pretty fast. <laughs>